tornadoes. They are one of the most destructive forces of nature. According to a 1991-2010 to survey from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the United States leads all countries with an annual average of 1,253 tornadoes. The state that ranks 26th in the nation with an annual average of 16 tornadoes is Pennsylvania. While the state isn't known for tornadoes, they have been known to cause some considerable damage and loss of life. I'll be counting down three of the most intense tornadic outbreaks that have occurred in the state of Pennsylvania over the past 130 years. Number three on the list is the costly outbreak of June 23, 1944, which produced at least five reported tornadoes, 43 fatalities, and over 500 injuries. Ranked from the original Ted Fujita scale, or F scale, the strongest of these tornadoes was an F4 tornado with estimated sustained winds between 207 to 260 miles per hour. Being reported just eight miles south of Pittsburgh, the tornado traveled 50 miles killed 17 people in Pennsylvania and killed 134 people in West Virginia. Some eyewitness reports even depicted a couple of tornadoes coming up and down a part of the ridge of the Appalachian mountain range. While conditions are not always favorable for tornadoes to sustain themselves in mountainous environments, it is not too uncommon. Current studies suggest that there is not a strong correlation between high topography and a decrease in tornado intensity, but many recent Research questions still need to be answered. At number two, the eastern United States got slammed by two waves of tornadoes that tore through Pennsylvania on May 31st and June 2nd, 1998. Three people perished in the state and 95 were injured as 42 tornadoes touched down. 21 tornadoes occurred on May 31st, the strongest being three F3 tornadoes. Meanwhile, most of the damage, injuries, and loss of life occurred on June 2nd. That afternoon, an F1 tornado tore through the heart of Pittsburgh and led to 50 injuries. Other tornadoes occurred around sunset, which was especially dangerous due to lack of visibility. Such tornadoes include included an F4 in southwestern Pennsylvania and an F3 tornado near Scranton, which killed three people. Undoubtedly, the single most destructive Pennsylvania tornadic outbreak occurred on May 31st, 1985. This day marked as the deadliest single day tornadic event in the state and one of the most powerful events ever nationwide. 21 tornadoes touched down and several hundred million dollars of property damage was reported with 791 injuries and 75 fatalities. In the atmosphere, a warm front moved through northern Pennsylvania, which led to morning sunshine, muggy air, and July-like heat. Meanwhile, different directional winds with height developed as southerly winds became more westerly in the lower levels of the atmosphere. Then, a powerful cold front approached the western state line in the afternoon and ultimately triggered the perfect recipe for a catastrophe. Six long-lived F4 tornadoes tore through Pennsylvania, killing dozens and injuring hundreds. The longest-lived tornado in state history was an F4 that traveled nearly 70 miles through Mo Shannon State Forest. The deadliest tornado ever in Pennsylvania, which originally developed in Ohio, was the only F5 tornado recorded in state history with sustained winds between 261 to 318 miles per hour. The tornado leveled the town of Wheatland as it traveled 50 miles, killed 18 people, injured 310, and caused a couple hundred million dollars in property damage. While tornadoes may not be common in Pennsylvania, Catastrophic outbreaks have occurred and may occur again in the state in the future. For whether or not, I'm Ryan DeFillips.